It's spring market time in Toronto. So why the heck are home sales falling? That's what I'm going to be chatting about today. My name is John Casales, president at Relosophy Realty. Get all my latest writings on Toronto's housing market at movesmartly.com. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest videos. So uh, when we looked at the statistics for April's home sales in the GTA, sales were down around 26% when compared to March. Uh, now, we typically don't compare sales month over month. We usually look at how they've compared from the previous year, uh, but last year was not a normal year, so it's not the best comparison. Uh, and the most relevant comparison right now is the fact that uh, home sales are actually declining when they should be trending up. They usually trend up as we move into the spring market, uh, and they're not just falling. They're falling by quite a bit. 26% decline from uh, from March to April is pretty significant. So what exactly is causing this? You know, a lot of the news uh, is focused on higher rates and higher rates. There have been people arguing that high rates are, are driving this decline in demand. Uh, I actually don't think it's that simple. We started to see um, this slow down a little bit earlier, but more importantly, um, more earlier than rates started to increase. But more importantly, I should add that a lot of the home buyers in the market right now have rate holes, which means that, you know, when they got their pre-approval, say back in February, they probably got it uh, in the high 2% range. Uh, and if they buy within four months, uh, they're not going to experience today's much higher interest rates. So higher rates actually uh, might be pushing some buyers to buy right now before their rate hold expires, which probably is going to be in June. So a lot of the buyers who are active right now aren't paying you know, 4% on their mortgage, they probably have a pre-approval in the high 2% range, uh, which is going to expire soon. So for that reason, I don't think we're actually feeling the effects of higher rates quite yet. We're probably going to feel them in June, July, August, when everyone is qualifying for a mortgage and paying uh, today's much higher interest rates. That being said, uh, the flip side is that I do think higher rates are potentially pulling some buyers to the market. Uh, the buyers who are worried that you know higher rates in the future might actually cause home prices to fall. So certainly it's having sort of a, an effect where it might be pushing some buyers to rush in and buy, pulling some buyers out. But again, in terms of the impacts of higher interest rates, we haven't felt that yet. I suspect we're going to probably see that a little bit more as we move into the summer uh, and fall markets. Now, the other couple of factors... One is that is driving this slowdown uh, is that, you know, COVID and low rates pulled a lot of home dining demand forward in 2020 and 2021, meaning a lot of people who were maybe planning on buying in 2022 decided to speed up their plans and, and bought last year or the year before, uh, and partly because of record low interest rates. And this is really what caused this demand shock that we saw uh, for houses in the housing market that push prices up at an unbelievable rate. But when you have a demand shock that pulls demand forward, well, what happens is once that boom has slowed down, and in our case, interest rates are probably causing the boom to slow down a little bit, uh, you end up having fewer buyers naturally in the year or two after that as the market adjusts a little bit um, because that so much demand got pulled forward. So I, th I do think we're seeing just naturally a little bit less demand. And I say that because the market started to slow down, interestingly enough, in February uh, before uh, int five-year interest rates on mortgages uh, increased the way they did in March, before the Bank of Canada started increasing rates by 50 basis points and suggesting they're going to do another at least 50 basis point increase in June. Uh, so, you know, a lot of this slowdown started to happen before higher rates uh, were kind of seen in the market. The last thing I'll say that's kind of impacting uh, the demand right now is the fact that the market's sluggish. And because the market's sluggish and people are seeing that there are fewer showings and houses are sitting on the market a little bit longer, a lot of people who need to either upsize or downsize, meaning, you know, buy another home and sell their current one, are a little bit anxious about moving in right now because you know historically most people who buy and sell in, in the Toronto area typically buy first because it's easier and then sell their current home. Uh, but a lot of these buyers are anxious about buying right now and then needing to sell in a difficult sluggish market. Uh, and that is effectively pulling some of those buyers out of the market, um, which is sort of contributing to this slowdown. And I think those buyers are gonna stay out of the market either until the market stabilizes uh, or until they just decide to sell first and then buy a home. So I think those are the key factors kind of driving this immediate slowdown we're seeing. 
uh, in demand. And then we're going to start to see how things unfold. We'll have a much better picture, you know, as we move into the late summer uh, and potentially even by Labor Day, you know, what the market's looking like as it's adjusting to this higher interest rate environment. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below or send me an email at askjohn at movesmartly.com.